Now we are going to solve question number 9 and what exactly this question is asking from us. Calculate the potential energy. Okay, we will solve the potential energy which is U. The formula is K times Q1 Q2 over R. Okay, of a system of pairs. Okay guys, what exactly we need to look for? Pairs, how many pairs are available of the charge particles. Okay, now just read the question and then we solve it. Calculate the electrical potential energy. Okay, we need to find the electrical potential energy. U is equals to K times Q1, Q2 and the distance between them is the R of a system of four point charges okay four point charges are given shown in the figure the four point charges have the values okay q1 q2 q3 q4 is given q1 is 1 micro coulomb which is equals to 1 multiply 10 raised to power negative 6 coulomb okay q2 is given 2 micro coulomb which is equals to 2 multiply 10 raised to power negative 6 coulomb q3 which is negative 3 negative 3 micro coulomb means negative 3 multiply 10 raised to power negative 6 coulomb and q4 which is equals to plus 4 micro coulomb so 4 multiply 10 raised to power negative 6 coulomb okay the charges are placed at a a the distance is given 6 meter and B is given 4 meter. So guys, all these things are given here. Huh? A is given here. B is given here. Charge 1, charge 2, charge 3 and charge 4. Okay. What is the electrical potential energy? Okay. What we are looking for? Potential energy of the system of 4 point charges. Okay. I will tell you easy way. Huh? Very easy. Means easy peasy. Yeah. Huh? So what is the easiest way to solve? The word is called the trick. What is the trick? Identify the pairs. Identify pairs. Clear? If you can identify the pairs, you can solve easily. Okay, how many pairs? We have the total four. Okay, just find the pairs. The first pair, can I say Q1, Q2? Do you understand? Okay, we will solve that. Second pair. Q1 and Q4. Okay, third pair. Q1 and Q3. These, okay guys, just tell me. This is the only pair? No, we have the other pairs also. Can we have the pair between Q1 and Q4? Yes. Okay, the fourth pair is Q2 and Q4. Fifth pair is Q2 and Q3 and sixth pair is now just think which can be the last pair Q4 and Q3 and guys if you understand all the pairing is there any other possible no so these are the six possible pairs and now we need to start solving potential energy individual because we need to solve system system means all potential energy sum of all sum of all okay now one by one huh? just apply the formula we have the equation and solve it okay in between q1 and q2 this is our q1 and when we have the q2 so just apply that and solve it very easy huh? very very easy okay let's say take the blue color so q1 and q2 so can i say First, U1 is equals to K times of Q1, Q2 divided by. What is the distance between them? This is the distance A. Clear? Easy? Okay. Second, U2, K, Q1, Q4 and the distance. Okay, guys. Q1 and Q4. What is the distance? Q1 and Q4. This is the distance. Yes or no? Sure. Okay, so we have one distance here, A, one side. Another side we know, what is the value? We have the other side value, B. So can I write here B? This is also B. So what should be the value of this? So this should be root of A square plus B 
b square you can use this na simple thing okay so can i write here a square plus b square okay equation 1 equation 2 similarly you can solve all the values okay q1 q3 q1 and q3 okay so u3 is equals to k times of q1 q3 and distance is b okay fourth one u4 k times of okay q2 and q4 so you have a distance q2 q4 divided by b okay u5 so k times of u5 q2 and q3 so guys just check this one huh? q2 and q4 this is same like this yes or no yes so having the same distance root of a square plus b square so q2 q3 divided by root of a square plus b square and the last u6 k times of u6 is between q4 and q3 q4 q3 and the distance is a okay you get all the six equations 3 4 5 and 6 clear okay so what we what exactly we need to do we need to find the u so total potential energy is u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus u4 plus u5 plus u6 guys just put the values and uh, you can solve them huh? so we have all the values we know the value of k okay we know the value of k okay i will write k equals 9 multiply 10 raised to power 9 okay we know the k we know the q1 we know the q2 we know the q3 we know the q4 we know the value of a we know the value of b yes or no just tell me guys fast so you can solve this question place the values and you will get the answer once you solve this with their sign because we have the q3 is negative so once you solve it you will get u equals to Negative six point two multiply ten raised to power negative three joule. Clear, guys. So just remember, just focus this point. This is the key point of this question because Q three is negative. Q three is negative. So just consider a sign and put all the values. Clear? Okay.